So let's just talk about graph and their representation. So as we know, graph is a non-linear data structure. It is used to represent relationship or connections between pair of objects. So we can define one graph which consists of vertices and edges. So like an example here in this graph, this 1, 2, 3 and 4, these are all the vertices and this connection or link between the vertices, these are called edges. So there are few types of graphs we have. We have directed graph, undirected graph, weighted graph and unweighted graph. So this graph is very important. It is mainly used in case of social networks, web page linking, in case of routing and also scheduling. It is also used in computer networks. Now the graphs can be represented either using the adjacency matrix or the adjacency list. Adjacency matrix is one n by n matrix. The n is the vertices of the graph. So like an example here we have the n by n matrix. Now the matrix consists of zeros and ones. So as per the theory if we have edge between the vertices i and j then we are gonna fill that position with the value 1 otherwise we are gonna fill that with 0. So because the graph has 4 vertices so this is one 4 by 4 matrix. Because in this graph we do not have any self loop that's why the diagonal values are all 0. Now if we have edge between two vertices then we are gonna fill that with 1 otherwise we are gonna fill with 0. This way we can represent using the adjacency matrix. And also we can use adjacency list to represent the graph. Here you can see we have 4 vertices for each vertices we maintain one linked list which represents the connection between the vertices. For adjacency matrix we have the complexity of order of n square. For adjacency list we have the complexity of order of n plus 2e. So that's it for the graph. Thank you.